Okay guys, so uh, sorry for the last uh, part where at the end, especially because I have 21 by 9 inch uh, ratio my monitor and I had Blender opened in the full screen. So uh, that's why it was like offset to the to the left. So now it will not happen again because uh, it will be good. So let's let's see. So uh, what else? What, what what we are up to? So we want to finish the forehead. So I think we'll finish the forehead uh, today, and then we'll go, we'll go back to the uh, to the neck. So let's go to edit mode, let's save the files, because it's awful when you're not saving, because it can crash, because it's 2.8. So let's select those two edges here, and I will just extrude them, uh, so and make them follow the... the... this edge, basically, so it will match nicely. I don't even know if you want to see this guys because uh, I rec I'm recording like in this one on the one day and I just keep those videos till I edit them so I don't know if you want to see it but we'll see so here also you have Okay, where am I? Uh, I where am I? I need two more. Uh, two more, I think. So one, two, and there's actually one more, I think. So you can see that here, uh, this part is very dense, it's very detailed, and we don't need that way. But as uh, for our luck, the head is going uh, further, so it will be bigger at the uh, at the back. So. As you can see here, we can give it more details to here, to this part. So we have to fix everything after we finish this loop. So let's make a loop from this. So uh, here's the loop. And now we can basically, I'll just select this part and I'll just move them uh, to the right a bit. And I'll just adjust everything so it will be more nicely. So everything will be more nice. This go has will have a nicer curve like this because we don't want this to be too stretchy. And there's a lot of tweaking basically. So you just have to play with it. Okay, let's see. And now we can move this more up so it will start looking better. So let's see from the side, can we fix something? I think we can make it go even more like this. Even more, spread it out more. Okay, so uh, let's see, we have one more uh, part of the ear, like here, so we can make uh, we can make one more loop, so let's select this edge from this point to this point, and I'll just go to the top view, and I'll extrude it and make it go out. So now we can uh, connect this face, and let's fix it, so make it... like this and everything will be joined together later so i think this is okay it's not bad but i think that uh <laughs> we have some problem because as you can see here we covered a lot but uh, at the top we didn't cover that much and we have to fix it later so 
to fix it, I think we can e uh, either stretch this part more out or we can like make the new topology from the back better to fit it more nicely. So I still don't know what approach to, to choose basically. But let's see, let's go to the local view. Let's go here. I want to see how much they are close to each other. They're pretty close to each other. So I will go here. I will enable all edges. It's not all, all edges. It should be wireframe so I can see. Okay, let's go to the object uh, to the to the uh, edit mode. As you can see here are the faces, how how it actually look. So it quite it, it is quite dense and it shouldn't be quite dense like this. So okay, I I'll think I'll try to to make it more straight. So I'll select each of this I'll move them up like this maybe quite a bit as you can see but we will move everything everything will be moved so don't worry so there's a big face uh, faces here but now we will move this this part I'll select few of them and I'll move them up and now we just have to play with them. So it, it, will, it will fit more nicely. Okay, what is this? Oh. Uh, I think we have to disable clipping. I don't know where it came from. But it shouldn't be here. Where is it? Okay. Oh, wow. So this one was actually at the bottom. <laughs> so let's readjust it. So it will be at the bottom again. Let's go to the top. Okay. It starts to look more uh, better. And this we can also move up. So. So it will cover the face more. And yeah, let's see. What is this? Is it from the top bottom again? Yeah, it is. I don't know how it gets here, but. Okay, I have to fix it. Okay, um, it's not bad, so let's move this a bit up, and uh, let's see how, how it looks from the local view, basically, so I'll move this more to the right, like this. You can add some edge loop if, if uh, you are lock, locking the geometry. But I think it's not that bad. Like the my forehead will be covered by some hairs, so it will not be that visible. So I'll move everything up. Let's see. Let's go to the. And yeah, it's, it's looking fine. It's not bad. It's looking fine. Let's go to the object view. Yeah, it, it's it's looking better. And also.
also you covered more space here so it's a good thing and i don't know if we can okay we can't actually remove this edge because i wanted to remove some edges but never mind now let's go let's go out of the wireframe and as you can see we have a better head and we can also finish the bottom so here i will make one more edge that is going Uh, it will start here, so you go and it will wrap around the head. So maybe this one will make our head straight finally. And I will try to keep everything straight. There's too much. Uh, Let's connect everything. Too much detail here. So we have to fix it later. But now we can spread it out. But it's a good. Okay, so we finished the the like top hat, and we'll do the back and the uh, neck in the next part. So let's save the files. Let's see how it looks now. Okay, it's looking pretty good. And yeah, guys, we'll see. I will see you in the next one. Bye.